Now that the model is on scale, first draw its original shape. You must make sure that the different rectangles that you make are aligned with each other. To ensure this, start the new shape from the end point of the other. After creating the basic outline, offset them. The keyboard shortcut for the offset tool is F. The standard size of a wall is 6 inches, so to give them this depth, click once with the offset tool on the surface you are working on and type 6. This automatically gives you a wall of that depth. Repeat this process for all shapes. However, when you add them, you will see that the rooms next to each other will have double walls. Remove one wall from a room, preferably the smaller room, to increase its surface area. Do this by using the line tool, shortcut for which is L. Draw lines at the edge and then delete the center one using the eraser tool, the shortcut for which is E. To draw these lines, make sure to zoom in to ensure their accuracy. Through this method, you can even create door openings. Switch to the push-pull tool by pressing P on the keyboard. Use this to extrude the walls. While you are doing so, enter 8 on your keyboard, since 8 feet is the standard height of the walls. Now that you have a standing structure, you can add details however you want. Over here, we have an already existing component of a window made earlier. Add that onto the model. You can also do other detailing in the model as well. Using this method, you can create different elevations of your drawing according to your plan.